Good day everyone, this is me, Teacher Sherman Rosalind, your computer teacher. Our topic for today is all about the shape group command of the MS Paint application. For us to be able to create a good drawing using this application, all we need to do is to use the shapes command. Okay, for example, we're going to draw a simple house using the shapes command of the MS Paint. For the loop, we are going to use the triangle shape. Just select one specific type of shape. And after that, as you can see it here, in our shape group command, it will be highlighted. Okay? Now, proceed to your drawing area and your cursor will also change. Okay? After that, you are just going to select or press and hold the left button of your mouse and drag it down for you to be able to see the shape that you have selected on the shape groups command. After you are uh, selected or after you have drawn the shape here in our drawing area, you can now release the left button of your mouse. After releasing the left button of your mouse, you can see a broken, broken line, sorry, broken lines here around the shape that you have inserted these broken lines will indicate that you can still change the size of the shape it depends on you on how big or how small will be the shape appear on our drawing area for example you're just going to put okay or um command your cursor to move here on the left side corner of the resizing button and as you can see the cursor has changed into its appearance okay now using the left button of your mouse again you're going to press and hold it and move it closely if you want to change it into a smaller size but if you want to change into a bigger size of the shape you're going to uh, command it into the outer direction of the shape for you to be able to widen okay or to spread the shape of the or the sh size i should say the size of the shape okay as you can see here that is how you are going to change the size of the shape be careful in using your mouse because once you have selected or accidentally select the mouse once you can never okay you can never change the size of the shape anymore okay because the resizing buttons will disappear around the shape it only means that we cannot change its size okay it will become permanently okay that will become the permanent size of the shape that we have inserted on the drawing area next that we are going to insert is the body of the house which is the rectangle or the square shape okay just select your needed shape and after that proceed to the area where you are going to insert the shape then again drag it down for you to be able to see the shape that you have selected on the shape group command after done after that you're just going to release the left button of your mouse and you can also see the broken lines are the resizing buttons again around the shape that we have inserted and be extra careful on that resizing button so okay now we can change the size in our own perspective it depends on you if you want to widen more the size of the shape or you just want to um, make it more visible on your screen okay and that is how you are going to insert a shape inside the drawing area okay now let's even uh, define our drawing let's even insert another shape for the door and for the window let's give another shape okay okay that is how you are going to insert shapes or drawing uh, creating your drawing through the use of the shapes command of your MS Paint application. But don't you know that you can also change the color of the lines of the shape? How are you going to change the color? Okay, the, the, uh, always remember that the default color of the line is black, but it doesn't mean that you cannot 
change the color. You can even change or choose any color that you can see it here on the colors palette. That is what we are going to discuss on next week. Okay, on how we are going to apply different types of colors on the shades or on the lines that we are going to use to draw inside the tax paint application or the MS paint application. If you have any questions regarding our topic for today, don't hesitate to message me in our LMS. Once again, this is Teacher Charmaine Nazaneda, your computer teacher. Goodbye and God bless.